Recently, I went on a trip to Seoul, South Korea, trying to find out if it was a place that could inspire me to do some better photography work. In recent years, it really feels like everything that I've been producing has really plateaued and I haven't made any great strides forward. So it felt like a good plan of action was to go to somewhere completely new that I'd never been to before, explore the place, and find out if it was worth my time. These are my thoughts and reflections on whether or not Seoul is a good place to go for street photography. Welcome to the first video on this new channel I'm starting here called Developing Tank. I'm trying to develop a lot creatively, physically, and through my base of knowledge this year. With this first video, I thought I would go and make some resource about shooting street in Seoul. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of that on the internet, so I just kind of searched the city, looked for some places that might be cool, and wanted to show you what they looked like through this video. This mural village is the first place that I shot at while I was in the city and it was really fun to shoot here but it was also absolutely freezing so I didn't get as many photos as I would have liked to and there weren't really any people out and about to include in the photos but it was really fun to shoot there nonetheless because it provides a lot of unique architecture, steep staircases, weird bending alleyways and a lot of opportunities to play with the contrast between light and shadows if you go there on a sunny day and that's something you're into photographing. So overall, I would say this place is 10 out of 10, really great. I would love to go back here and shoot when it's warmer and there's people around to include in the photos. Quick side note, if you plan on shooting somewhere that's really cold and you like to do POV with the GoPro, buy one of those white Enduro batteries before doing so because I use the normal one on this trip and that's why I don't have a lot of that other POV footage because the battery just kept dying as soon as I would turn the thing on. I wanted to give this market a try. It was fun to hang out at and eat at, but I don't know if I really had a great time shooting there or got any really great photographs. I mostly went here to provide another place that was uniquely different from the other ones. Maybe it's possible to get really great photos here. Maybe shooting at markets is something you're into, but for me, I wouldn't say that this market or any market in general is really high on my list of places that I wanna take street photos at again anytime soon. Even though the market was kind of a bust, I did get a few photos there, but the next location that I went to was the most worthwhile to me on this trip. I didn't get to the DDP until the last couple days in Seoul and I kind of wish that I had switched things around and shot there earlier. Being a sci-fi freak and loving weird architecture like this, it really caught my eye when I was there and I really loved the different contrasts that it made available and the ability to take photos there that really show the contrast between the scale of the people and the architecture itself. So if I go to Seoul again, I'll definitely take some more time to walk around, check out and shoot at the DDP. One of the best things I saw in South Korea was this monument to one of humanity's greatest achievements.
from what I can tell, this area is just a lot of brick buildings, expensive cars, and dudes standing around smoking in areas that are designated just for that activity. But it did provide me with the few photos that I got where people weren't wearing a mask. Unlike most places in the world, many countries in Asia have really stuck to wearing the mask. So being able to get a few photos with facial expressions was pretty great and worth going to Gangnam for that reason alone. Overall, I wouldn't say there's anything particularly unique or interesting about this area, but I did have fun shooting there. compelling reason to shoot in this area. I'll just say I had a good time there. There are definitely a lot of characters out and about there wearing some of the more unique outfits that I saw. It looks like it's a place that would be a lot more fun to shoot at at night, but because it was always so cold, I just kind of avoided it. The nickname for this part is the Brooklyn of Seoul, and if that means there's a bunch of gentrified garbage everywhere and way overpriced cafes, then that is spot on. I can't say I really enjoyed this area at all, but um, we'll just say it's not for me. If you shoot a lot of street photography, you're probably very familiar with walking around aimlessly in cities trying to find a good shot. So this next part of the video is just a conglomeration of all the extra footage that I had of places that looked cool, but after the fact, I couldn't remember exactly which parts of the city I was in while I was shooting them. They're all in and around the downtown city hall station stop on, I believe it's line two and six of the um, subway for Seoul. So if you want to find this kind of stuff, it's all around there. It's pretty standard downtown fare, but overall, pretty fun to shoot at. After shooting in Seoul for a couple of weeks, I'd say it's a great city to shoot street photography in. It's definitely not top 10 in the world, but it's just a great city in general beyond street photography. So if you want to go there to shoot, just think of that as an added plus to going somewhere that is completely wonderful. I plan on shooting a lot of street photography this year, mostly in Bangkok where I live, but hopefully Japan, a few other countries around the region, and if I'm lucky, a few different countries around the world. But the whole plan to develop more as a creative and get better at photography. So if you want to join me on that journey, feel free to do so. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, keep shooting. <laughs>